Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin Geary. This is a little short video, kind of an emergency video. I was sitting here doing my work head down, working on automatic CSS on our generate press integration. And I get a little ping from Mark Westgard and it says, Hey, I think you should have a look at this. And so I click on it and I'm like, Oh, what do we have here? Just an absolutely fantastic new feature to WS Form. If you don't know Mark, Mark is the developer, lead developer of WS Form. Fantastic guy, very, very, very brilliant. WS Form, my top recommendation for Forms plugins for WordPress. It's on my blueprint. Every single website that I build has WS Form. And this is an example, a very good reason why that is the case. Here's the new feature. It is an integration with OpenAI, ChatGPT. The idea is we can just talk to WS form and say, Hey, I need a form. And it should have these fields. These fields should be required. These fields not required. And just, I don't really know the extent of it yet. We're going to look at it together. We're going to do a little bit of a first look and see what Mark has been cooking in the WS form kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Um, now, before we get to that, I do want to say I am going to do a video dedicated to AI. There's some really good use cases for AI, some not good use cases for AI. I'll probably end up doing a detailed video. This is one of the use cases for AI, guys. So if you're like, oh, AI, I don't want to hear about AI. This is one of the use cases, the legit use cases for AI. And we are going to see exactly what the potential is in this video. So no more talking, emergency video. Let's take a first look at WS Forms integration with ChatGPT. All right, let's get our feet wet with this. Let's see what it can do. Uh, if you wanna follow along with me, you're gonna need a couple things. Number one, you're gonna need a WS Form license. If you've been listening to me from the beginning, you already have this because you know WS Form, hands down the number one form builder for WordPress. It's not even a competition. I put it on my blueprint, which means every website has WS form, one form system, one workflow, maximum efficiency. I've never needed another form system. It's just always works, always fantastic, and the best support imaginable. Uh, best support of almost any plugin, much less forms plugins, okay? Mark does an absolutely fantastic job. The next thing you're gonna need, oh, let me go to the pricing. You're gonna need the agency plan, which again, you should already have if you listen to me, because you're gonna see that open AI is included in the agency plan. It's not included in freelance or personal. Oh, really all the goodies are in agency. So just bite the bullet, grab yourself an agency license. There's a link below if you don't have one. Uh, go ahead and click that and then grab it. Go into you, uh, your account. I was gonna say my account, but your account. Go into your account and hit downloads and then come down here and download the OpenAI beta add-on. So once you have WS Form installed, once you have the OpenAI add-on installed, you're then gonna go into WS Form and go into settings. Click on the OpenAI tab. Put in your Open API, OpenAI API key. That's a lot of letters. OpenAI API key. If you don't know where to get that, click this little link right here that Mark gave you. It's gonna take you right to the area where you need to get your API key. Again, if you don't already know, OpenAI, ChatGPT, they're free for all the basic stuff, but any API stuff, it's going to require a payment method. Uh, you should probably already have one of those as well as an agency or a freelancer, but grab your API, put it in here, hit save changes, and then you are ready to rock and roll. So we're gonna go over to WS Form Forms and I just wanna see the potential today. I'm not looking for perfection. I just wanna know, and this is beta. It literally just came out. It's hot off the press. So I'm not expecting perfection. I wanna see what the potential is. And I will say this, this is the premier use case or like a premier use case for AI. I don't agree with AI for a lot of things. I think there's some great things AI is capable of helping us with. There's a lot of stuff people are using AI for that AI should not be used for, in my opinion. I can do a video on that and go into detail, but this is one of the things that AI can be tremendously helpful for, and I am really excited to see the potential. So I'm gonna click Add New, I'm gonna go to Open AI, and I'm gonna click AI Generated Form, and we are gonna get this prompt right here. I think a good test case is, can we make like a T-shirt order form or something? I'm sure it can handle like a little contact form, whatever, but can it can it do like a custom t-shirt order form? That would be at least as a good initial experiment and just to see what it what it does. So let's let's start describing the form that we want to create. 
I'm creating a t-shirt order form. It needs to collect the customer's first name, last name, email address, billing address, and shipping address. Those fields should be required. Did I put phone number in there as well? I'll say phone number. All right, those fields should be required. Uh, it should also ask for the, oh no, no, I'll just say it should, it should have a, uh, it should have a file upload field for the t-shirt artwork. I'm, I'm putting this in caps because I'm hoping it's gonna parse this and like actually use this as the labels. It should have a file upload field for the t-shirt artwork and allow the customer to select the t-shirt size. And I'll say our options are gonna be small, medium, large, extra large. I have no idea if it's gonna do a drop down, an option field. You, you and me, we're, we're, we're figuring this out together. Uh, so to select the t-shirt size and t-shirt color, I'm gonna say black, white, gray. Lastly, it should ask for additional order details. I'm not even gonna say what kind of field it should be asking for. Payment options should be Stripe and PayPal. Submit button label should say, place my order. Okay, I'm gonna hit create. Let's go ahead and see what this is going to come up with. I have no idea what is about to happen. <laughs> Guys, that's a t-shirt order form. That's a t-shirt order form right there in like, like that. Okay, I do see a problem. I do see a problem. It's using text fields for the address. All right. And I, again, I'm not looking for perfection. I'm looking for potential. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Mark, hey, you know, these need to be like Google address fields probably. Um, so it didn't really parse that correctly. It did make all these required though. And then this one, additional order details is not required. That's pretty cool. The submit button is lacking some text. We're also going to see, by the way, if we can style this in seconds using automatic CSS. We'll just, just hang tight for that. So I'm going to change this to place my order because that's initially what I asked for. And then, you know, stuff like this, okay? I can put these side by side very easily in WS form. I don't need the AI to like figure all that stuff out for me. Again, get me like 70 to 80% of the way there. I'll do the last 20%. That is efficiency. That is workflow. That is margin. And that kind of efficiency and that kind of margin is absolutely, this is the kind of feature where a WS form is going to pay for itself a hundred times over. And just think as this gets better and better and better and better, maybe creating tabs for us. I mean, maybe it already does that. I don't know. This is just one little example. Okay. So artwork, that's actually a file upload field. That's absolutely fantastic. Place my order. Okay. Let's see if we can add this to a page. So I'm going to hit publish. Let's go to pages, add new. Okay. And we're going to say order form. Awesome. We're going to hit publish right there. We're going to edit with bricks. And then I'm just going to see if we can get this on a page. So I'm going to add a section. I'm going to grab this container right here. Let's do with L because I want to narrow this down a little bit. And let's add a WS form. Click that, select the form that I want. Go ahead and hit save. There is the order form. Let's view this on the front end. And then we need to see if we can apply our website styling to this form in seconds with automatic CSS. So I'm gonna, on this form, I'm gonna add a class called form light. With ACSS, you have form light and form dark. These are completely customizable styles in the ACSS dashboard, but there's really, really good defaults by, by default. Um, so I'm just gonna add this and look at that. Refresh, guys, come on. I, I just talked to chat GPT through WS form basically and said, hey, make me a custom t-shirt order form. It needs all these fields. I mean, look at this. It's got the options in there. It's got the upload, the file upload field. It's got Stripe or PayPal. Now I, I don't have the uh, merchant account set up and all of that. So these are just, you know, basic check boxes, obviously. So I would need to clean that up, but look at all the stuff that it did for me. Very, very impressive, very, very promising. 
I mean, this is this. this I'm I'm kind of speechless. I'm kind of speechless. I didn't expect it to be this good out of the box for like the first iteration of it. Uh, this is very impressive, guys. Um, so here's what you need to do, and I, I'm I'm just gonna be. I'm gonna say this for my own benefit, right? Head over, if you don't have a WS Form license, I don't think anybody else is doing this. They will be doing this, obviously, but I mean, WS Form, Mark, they, they're at the forefront constantly. Go get a WS Form license if you don't already have one. Download the, the AI uh, add-on for it. Start playing around and seeing what you can generate and what sticking points you run into. Because what Mark is gonna need, guys, to really dial this in is feedback from as many people as possible. More people using this, more people giving him feedback so he can dial it in and that's gonna make it more useful to all of us, all right? I'm very impressed. I'm very impressed. I don't know what else to say. I just wanted to take a look at it, see if it blows up, see if it's you know uh, an embarrassment. Like, well, what's gonna happen here? Knowing Mark, I should have known that it was just gonna work out of the box uh, and be very, very impressive. But Obviously, there's some things to clean up. There's some things that can be improved. This is a great first start. I am really, really excited about this feature. And I already had the agency license. This is like Christmas morning. This ain't costing me any extra money. I already had my chat GPT account. I already have everything. This is just tying two tools that I already use together and giving my workflow an insane efficiency boost. That's all I got to say about this. I, I'm going to probably do more videos on this in the future, but this is a really, really good first look. All right, guys, tell me what you think in the comments down below. If you love Mark, tell him what you think of this in the, in the comments below. That's it for me. I'm out. Peace.